Ah, uh, hello there. Tough guy film expert Mike Malloy here. Uh, was also the writer-director of a documentary entitled Eurocrime, the Italian cop and gangster films that ruled the 70s. And the film under examination today is the 1978 Italian crime film Un Poliziotto Scomodo, which literally translates to an awkward cop. But the connotation is more an inconvenient cop, like a thorn in the side, as in the cop is a thorn in someone's side. But who's his superiors, the bad guys? We'll find out. And the uh, film title in English-speaking territories that was Convoy Busters in a hilarious attempt to shoehorn the film into another popular genre from that decade. But we'll talk about more of that. We'll talk about that more later. I am joined here by Michael A. Martinez. Say hello, Michael A. Martinez. Speaking. I'm speaking. <laughs> Mike was my co-producer on Eurocrime and the main cinematographer on the doc, too. And uh, you listeners are in good hands with Martinez because he knows his genre's character actors. He knows his genre's bit players. He knows the dubbers. He knows them like nobody else I know. Now, I mainly learned the names of the supporting actors of the previous Italian action film fad, the Spaghetti Westerns, back in my teen years when my brain was spongy and had neural plasticity. And uh, some of the stars of Spaghetti Westerns later became the stars of the Eurocrime genre. That's how I became a fan. That's how I became a fan of the Italian crime genre. But the star of today's film, Maurizio Merli, I couldn't have done that with him, right? I couldn't have followed him over from the westerns, could I have? No, but you'll see among a lot of the uh, supporting cast, uh, say like Mimo Palmara as the villain at the end, is sort of a graduate of of uh, the peplum genre, right? So people that come from other genres in these Italian films typically would find someone they'll recognize when. And if if we were to dumb peplum down, it would be sword and sandal, and that was the action fad even before the spaghetti westerns. Yeah, I'd say it's probably the, the first of uh, the Italian genre film genres, if you want to get into that. You know, like, it, it was really the movie Hercules that sort of opened the floodgates to the Italians doing this this style of taking a, a certain genre and then just producing the hell out of films that would fit it for the next few years and just basically ride that cash cow as it went. And eventually the genre would sort of sputter out and then they'd hop on to the next thing. You know, and, I, and selling them internationally, which is the kind of important point. Yeah, we think of the 50s, early 60s, that was sort of the peplum high point for Italy. Then mid to late 60s was more of their spaghetti western. And-